Today, I'm going to show you how to do a reverse side spin serve. Um, this has become one of my favorite serves. It gives some opponents, you know, a lot of difficulty. Um, and because the ball is spinning this way, it tends to get returned towards my forehand. So it's a great serve for setting up um, my forehand attack. Now, I won't lie to you, it's not an easy serve to get right. It does take a lot of practice. Um, I think it probably took me about a year and maybe I'm just a really slow learner, but I think I found it difficult because the service motion is kind of opposite to what all my other serves are. So to begin with, I just found the motion really difficult to do. But with a lot of practice, I got there and now it's a very good serve for me. So let's take a look at this serve in action. So you can see from that clip, there's actually quite a bit going on with the service action. I'm sideways onto the table. I've got my elbow up a little high so I can tilt my back in this direction to get the side spin. My back comes towards my body and then accelerates in the other direction. On contact, I'm really trying to use my wrist to brush the side of the ball to get the spin. And if I get the contact right, the ball is gonna spin in this direction. If you've never done this serve before, I suggest just starting trying to get the contact point right and see if you can see if you can get the ball to turn. Okay, just nice and simple, out in front of you, trying to go from left to right. Okay. Now when you can do this, you can try doing it with the full service motion. At first, don't worry about using your wrist too much. Just concentrate on getting your arm moving in the right direction. When you've got this basic motion sorted, then try using your wrist a little bit more to get some extra spin on the ball. Okay. Now don't worry if you keep missing to begin with. It does need a lot of practice to get right. I often find this serve most effective when I serve shortish to my opponents uh, forehand if they're right-handed. Um, it's a good place to serve because the ball's kind of spinning away from their forehand and by keeping it shortish um, my opponent has to kind of play the ball over the table um, which isn't easy to do and often you know they'll just pop that ball up um, which will give me a pretty easy third ball attack to go for. The other variation I use is um, serving to the middle of the table. Um, this is the area of uncertainty. Should my opponent return it with forehand or backhand? Um, again, it's important to keep it shortish, um, so your opponent has to try and return the ball over the table. Again, if they don't get the contact right, the ball will pop up, um, giving you another easy third ball attack. Occasionally, I'll serve fast and long to my opponent's backhand, especially 
if I know that they struggle with fast long serves. Um, if that's the case, if they panic with these sort of serves, serve fast and long and the ball will often shoot up high, long, wide, or if it does land nice and high, another easy third ball attack. So reverse side spin serve um, can be a very effective serve. Definitely worth giving it a go. But as I said at the beginning of the video, it is a tricky serve to learn. Um, you may need to practice it a lot before you're ready to use it um, in a competitive match. But if you can get this serve working, um, it could help you win a lot of points. Hope you found this video useful. For more table tennis tips, please visit my website at tabletenniscoach.me.uk